welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joanna the Nurse. My boobs look huge. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience with Cartier, Cartier, it's so hard for me to say. Um, so a lot of people that follow me on Instagram are kind of familiar with a little bit of my backstory, but let me kind of elaborate farther. Or let me just elaborate. So pretty much I recently got into Cartier, Cartier, I'm gonna call it Cartier, but I don't know if I'm saying it right. Cartier Love Bracelets. And those are the bracelets that I'm wearing right now. They are pretty, I guess you can say iconic, where um, you screw it on and I guess it means that whoever gave it to you, whatever, loves you so you can't unscrew it. I don't know. But basically, I got my first one, which was my yellow gold one, about two years ago. I've never really had any issues with it, and I've always liked it. So this is my yellow gold one, and this is my original one. My second one I got was about a year and a half ago, so it was pretty soon after the yellow gold one. And that one was for a special occasion that I can't remember, but that one started giving me a little bit more issues. And the reason being, a lot of people were saying, is because of the first one they jingle a jingle against each other and so they bang against each other and the screws become loose that makes sense over time though the screws are supposed to tighten so that's kind of what I saw happening with these two so it was really no issue yada 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 then about a year ago I got my last one so I wanted to get all three colors and that one is the rose gold one so I got the rose gold one and seriously almost immediately I started having major issues with both my white gold and my rose gold but keep in mind the yellow gold one was always pretty decent and then, so especially the rose gold one kept giving me issues. I was like, there's something wrong with this, but I thought I was crazy. It was to the point where every single day I carried the screwdriver that it comes with in my purse and every single day I would tighten them. And that is very odd. That's not how it's actually supposed to be, but that is what I was doing. And so I took it to the store and I let them know, okay, I think there's an issue with this. And they're like, oh no, it's fine, yada, yada, yada. But then they're like, okay, let's take it to like New York, which is where the headquarters is in, and then let's see. And then they sent it, I can't really remember this to be honest, because this was about a year ago. They sent it back and they said that like it was okay, but the rose gold one wasn't, or something similar to that. And basically they switched out the rose gold and the white gold one for me. So I got a brand new white gold and a brand new rose gold one. So that was about a year ago. And till then, um, and even after that, I still got issues. And anyone that follows me on Instagram that watches my stories, I would like take pictures and videos of like, literally I would just look at my bracelets and the screws would be like so loose. I could have just pulled it off and it would come off. And keep in mind that you had to unscrew this side and this side. So both of them would be loose. So it's a little bit scary because to be quite frank, these bracelets are not cheap. Um, I think with, the majority of people's budgets, it is definitely a splurge. It is a splurge to me. They mean a lot to me. And to be quite frank, I don't want to lose them. You know, so literally like every day I would check it and be like, oh, it's loose. Sometimes I'd be with patients and I would like kind of look down and it would be loose. Like it was the weirdest thing. And then so, but again, I just, you know, every day just kind of twisted them, screwed it on, things like that and just hope for the best. Kind of my wake up call was recently about a month and a half ago when I was in my car going home and I looked down at my wrist and my white gold one was missing. And it has never actually fully fallen. Oh wait, hold on, backtrack. The white gold one did fall off one time at a wedding, but it was underneath the table. I forgot about that. So luckily I found it no issues, but I mean, that is a little bit weird too. But anyways. Fast forward to a month and a half ago. So the white gold one was missing and honestly, like my heart sank because I knew that there was something wrong with it and I was like, that's really weird. And then so I immediately called the office and because a lot of the girls were still working at the office, I left a little bit earlier and I said, has anyone seen my white gold Cartier love bracelet? And they all know I have issues with it because I tell them all the time, every time it comes loose. <laughs> And they're like, no, we haven't, but let me look. Literally, there was a girl looking in the parking lot. There was a girl looking in the trash can. There was a girl looking on the floor. There was a girl looking in the bathroom. Like, thank you to my coworkers 
first off, thank you very much. And I called them about 10 minutes later. I was like, did you guys find it? And they're like, no. And my heart just sank because I knew if they couldn't find it, then chances are it was gone. Well, five seconds later, I looked down and I had a bag of chips with a bag inside it. And I found both pieces of my white gold bracelet. And I was like, thank goodness. But I was really, really sad for a solid like, 20 minutes 15 minutes because honestly I thought I lost it and honestly I felt very stupid because it's a very expensive bracelet but I found it but then at that point I was like you know what this is a wake-up call let me call Cartier and see if they can do anything so I call them and I call the South Coast Plaza one because that is where I bought mine from and I say you know what I've been having issues I've always had issues with my rose gold one my white gold one just fell off I almost lost it is there anything you guys can do and so they said bring it into the store and we will send it to New York now we have a new testing where pretty much actually they test it for 48 hours on this machine and if it comes loose then I don't know it was broken or something. And if it doesn't come loose, then it's fine. So I was like, okay. And so I take it to the store eventually. That was like about a week later. I take it to the store and then um, send it on its merry way. About three weeks later, I'm like, okay, where is it? I kind of forgot about them, but then I called them. They're like, oh, your bracelets came. I was like, oh, why didn't anyone call me? But anyways, that's another thing. <laughs> whatever and then they said okay so the white gold one they tested it for 48 hours and it was fine and I was like okay that's fine because honestly the white gold one never gave me major major issues it was just that one time twice actually it did fall off but other than that it was never too too horrible it's always my rose gold one that was like pretty much an everyday constant struggle and then they said and listen to my words carefully guys um they said this is almost, I can remember, let me try remembering it pretty much verbatim. They said the rose gold one, they tested for 48 hours and the rose gold one, that one failed. So it didn't pass the 48 hours. And again, this is like their new testing where they tested for 48 hours on like a shaking machine and it shouldn't come loose. And if it does, something's wrong with it. So then they said, so we did, after they fi failed this first test, they did the necessary modifications to it and they tested it again for another 48 hours. And it, alas, failed. Which actually made me feel kind of good because I was like, okay, it's not all in my head. I'm not. I'm not like that crazy, you know, like I am screwing at things like that. No, there was something wrong with it and I knew it. And so it failed. And then so they said, okay, so the white gold is coming back. You're taking it back, right? No choice. I was like, okay, that's fine. And they said, and the rose gold one, it is eligible for exchange, even though obviously it has been over 30 days just because there is a defect with it. And they said, you can either exchange it for the same rose gold one, or you can exchange it for something of equal or greater value. And so with the rose gold one, to be honest, at that point, I was so over the love bracelets. And I think at this point, I kind of am. Who knows? Maybe in a few months, I'll be back into them. But for now, I think I'm just going to stick with these two. And I said, you know what? Let's exchange it for something of equal or lesser value. So I got, oh gosh, it's a little tight. Um, but as you guys can see in the unboxing that I'm going to post right after this, is there a bug in the room? Anyways. Um, I got this. So this is the, um, okay, it's not focusing, but this is the diamond pave ring. It's the love, I'm spitting. It's the love ring as well. And also to be honest, this is not cheap as well. So the average love ring costs about $1,000 to $2,000. This is almost seven times the cost of the, um, the one without the diamonds. And in no way, I hope I sound like I'm bragging, I don't intend to at all. Um, honestly, I had to get something of equal or greater value and I couldn't get a bracelet. And these are the standard bracelets where there are no diamonds or anything like that. So, um, and I didn't wanna get obviously another love bracelet. So I was like, okay, let me just get that ring. So I got this ring and to be quite frank, I love it. This is my first 30 minutes of wearing it. So we'll see, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that was my entire experience of my Cartier love bracelets. I think I said that right. Um, I hope it helps you guys make like an educated decision on whether or not you wanna buy it. And please, in no way am I intentionally or unintentionally bashing Cartier. Their customer service is great. And quite frankly, they are a company with decades, decades of experience and a wealth of knowledge and 
jewelry making I don't know but I will honestly say they should probably fix something about their screw system <laughs> but you know they handled it very well I handled it very well so it all worked out in the end but you know I have also heard from multiple people that follow me and also one of my close friends she bought the diamond love bracelet and it fell off of her four hours later and she never ever found it like I would cry like I, I cry for her so and it's not so uncommon to lose it so this is a very expensive purchase so if you are going to make it just tip make sure that the screwdrivers are in another tip don't be afraid to speak up if you feel like there is something wrong with your bracelets because i spoke up twice and both times there was something wrong with it so i hope that helps you guys and i hope you guys enjoy my unboxing video that's right after this and thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys like that bye well you know there's another video coming up this is a really awkward positioning but i'm going to do an unboxing i'm using my ring light and my phone so this is my new purchase so first it comes with this envelope that has my receipts the person that helped me her name is ro from the South Coast Plaza, bouquet, I mean boutique. And then it comes with this little, oh, sorry. Okay, so it comes with this little jewelry case right here. And inside the jewelry case, it has a cleaner, it has a wiper, and it has a toothbrush. Okay, so. It also comes with the certificate of authenticity. And here it is. Oh look, I saved the mint for Luke. Luke loves these mints. And a little jewelry pouch. Okay, so here is the box. Look, hi, okay. And they use this like wax thing to get it. This is my new purchase. I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it. <laughs>